Mick, Mick, Mick Ray emphasised an important point which I didn't really bring out in the presentation is that the concessionary bus pass is a pilot which runs until 2019 and so the, the opportunities can be taken during that to address issues that work or don't work, where improvements can be made, so there'll be a review process on, ongoing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have to wait until 2019 to make any particular changes if it isn't working and if people contact us. The distribution of taxi ranks. I often see taxi ranks, no taxis on them, and obviously I know at night they tend to congregate to certain places. But it's not very good if you happen to have a disability. Mobility isn't always... I mean, the taxi should come to you, obviously. Obviously, you can phone up for a cab. But there should be more... The distribution of taxi ranks, they are available. If they're not going to... Like, there's one outside the Embarrassment Street. I don't think I've ever seen a taxi on that one. I don't know if it still is a taxi rank. That was a... Um, the rank in Embarrassment Street was for evening times to right. serve the demand from some of the other nightclubs and restaurants in that area. Right. I think it is still used occasionally, yeah. I'm but obviously sure. the public needs but to know it's going to be a taxi there, don't they? Yes, yes. So, I mean, with cost taxi, what the Minister's done is he's taken away the artificial limits to the amount of pre-booked work and on-street work that the various classes of taxis can do. So you can wave down any kind of taxi when it's passing if you've got a need to get a taxi. Likewise, you can, if you've got a favourite taxi driver, you can phone up that taxi driver and ask them to come and pick you up anywhere. And so more taxi drivers do more of that kind of work. And so that's to try and remove some of the inefficiencies with the system. What we would be very keen to see, and what's obviously taken off in a lot of other jurisdictions, are, are taxi apps where people with a smartphone press a button, it's GPS enabled, and the taxi just comes to you. So, you know, taxi ranks, I think there'll always be a need for an area where taxi congregate to, to go there, it's readily identifiable, but I don't really see that as the future of, of taxis personally. Particularly if it's raining, why would you want to leave the restaurant or wherever you're doing if you haven't got a vehicle outside waiting for you? And so there have been a number of attempts to bring those apps forward. Not one, none of them have gained traction yet within the industry, but you know, we're hopeful within the next few years that one will or even sooner. And if so you've got developers who contact If you're out of town time. and you want a taxi, I mean, they're not necessarily very keen to come out to Gory to pick you up, are they? So you've got to phone a cab, have you? Um, well, I mean, the, the cabs are there for pre-booked hires, pre-booked right. work. The, um, the taxis are there for immediate hire. So, yes, if you, if you want to pre-book a taxi, then it, it's a cab. If you want to um, immediate hire then from the rank, then you, you, you go to the rank and stop it. Any of those vehicles on the street, just hail them, and they, they should stop. They're required to stop as long as their um, light on the roof is illuminated. They shouldn't go past. Okay, so there any other? Yeah. Can I just ask about going back to the concessionary travel pass scheme? Yes. You mentioned income support as a benefit. Do you have to be on a benefit to. No, so it's if you're looking for pre existing evidence of a disability. So if you're on the mobility allowance, then we take that as evident, acceptable evidence that you've got a disability and you can receive the card. Okay. So, so just if, if you were just an average worker who has one of these conditions who isn't on a disability? Allowance, then you need to go and it depends on the disability you've got, but you'd have to probably get your form signed by your GP in most likelihood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I think John's got a couple of points for you, Tristan. Yes, uh, um, well, just one a couple of you later. But, uh, quick one. Did I not circulate the uh, Eddie Knowles letter to you all? Yes. Yes. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, it says on there, I mean, this meeting is probably as useful to Tristan as, as any response, but if you've got other responses to to send in, uh, could you do that please by the 25th of January? The second thing, you said we can collect the forms from a variety of places uh, yeah. from February. Is there a date, beginning, end? Or? Um, we haven't we haven't yeah, actually set the exact date. We're working on the basis of the soft launch, as um, Tristan described, probably the second week in February, which give about three weeks to people to start getting their things together before basically the 1st of March. Uh, when the, the cars will be available. That's, that's subject to a bit more work, but that, that's what we're aiming at. Okay, well, if, when you send me the presentation, trust and if you've got a date, I can stick it in the notes because I think some people would have to make a plan to get to one of these places to pick the forms up. Yes, or I mean, the form will be um, downloadable, I imagine, so you can get yes. it downloaded. You don't actually have to go well. there if you've got a computer with yeah. a printer. No, the release, just to be clear, the release of the forms, etc., will be quite an awareness campaign going and we'll be sending them out to various organisations as well. So hopefully. You won't be able to miss the fact that we've actually launched the scheme. Okay.
And then my final one is if you're looking you're talking about taxi apps, that means you're going to license Uber to come to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, interesting model. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Association into Oc Health. Um, we're happy to come and talk to anybody else. This is about assistance. It's very similar to the Connect card, but this is purely for travelling um, on buses at the moment. But I've just been speaking to Tony, and this is going to be rolled out to the taxis as well. And it literally is nice sticker. Um, you can say which um, disability that you require assistance with. Um, you don't have to give us all your personal details, there's no registration. It purely is, um, I have a sight impairment, can you tell me when to get off at the next stop, for example, or things like that. Nice and simple, no registration, and it's about assistance. Um, and anybody who wants us to come and talk to your um, relevant group, Please shout up, we're happy to come and talk. And I'll just pass some of these around for anybody who hasn't got any already. And that's it. And they're collected from the bus station, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So, okay. yeah just one. Oh, right, and then I'll go get them from the bus station. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hopefully they're, hopefully they're being passed back when we're ready. Okay, is there anything else? Uh, Nikki obviously did a thorough presentation.